Uh, what's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. And uh, this story right here was brought to my attention. I saw on um, the True Royal Family. This sister brought this video right here. She did it first and shout out to her for bringing it. Because uh, apparently we got, you know, uh, some low life pig skins that's filled in emboldened enough, which is stupid. You know, on their own behalf and deadly, dangerous, to enter our homes at their will just because they feel like it. You know, they show he showed no respect for this brother and this sister right here. And there's a man that was in that house and he knew it, you know, but he went in there anyway. It says it right here. Twelve year old wakes up to find strange man undressing in her room, but her parents were armed. <laughs> and it's a good thing. See, this could have been much, much worse. Okay, to get into the story, let's see what this, how this brother and sister handled this situation. I know how I would have handled it, you know. A 12-year-old girl got the fright of her life when she saw a strange man appear in her bedroom after breaking into her house and drop his pants. Luckily for her mother, her mother's boyfriend was armed. The harrowing story happened in Louisville, Kentucky on Sunday morning at about 7 in the morning. Tina Burton, the girl's mother, told WDRB what happened next. Okay. She was really smart, Burton said. She hid under the covers, turned her light down, turned her volume down on her phone to text me, she explained. When she peeked under the covers to see where he was at where he was at, she got up and ran away. She went to the back room and I thought I think that was really brave of her and smart of her. Hmm. Yes, it was, you know what I mean, and under a situation like that, you know, it, it was good that she could, you know, you know, reach her mama, because uh, this bastard was planning on doing all kinds of sick things to this child, he probably would have, you know, raped her, uh, rather, you know, and murdered her, but he would have probably did it, you know, probably kidnapped her first, who knows with him, could have probably did it there, hell, he was bold enough to come up in their house, you know, Burton and her boyfriend, Allie Bracey, said they confronted the man and yelled at him to leave their home. He refused. He turned around and growled at me, said Bracey. <laughs> and then, I mean, and when he growled at me, I do know I attacked him. See, I'm going to tell you something. He wouldn't have got the, I, I mean, at least these people was good enough to give him a chance to leave the house. And I and I guess they would have probably just went ahead and called the police on him, you know, after he leaves. But the thing is, he I, I I wouldn't have asked him to leave. Not have seen his ass in there. He would have got it straight away. Right away. I'm I'm telling you. See, just for pulling some shit like this. See? Bracey says he hit the man with a broom and punched him and yelled to Burton to get something. Next thing I know, he got shot he said oh 38 year old donald oliver jr was shot six times and was later arrested by police he has an extensive extensive criminal record and appeared in court in a wheelchair due to his injuries which were not life-threatening lisa's ass got shot that the brother did just what he was supposed to do see he has been charged with burglary, assault, and possession of a controlled substance. During the altercation, he dropped a bag of what appeared to be heroin. The family had only just moved to their new home two weeks before the incident. There were two other daughters in the house, well, in the home, at the same time. Bracey says the neighbors are supportive of what he did. Supportive or not? He, he did the right thing, you know. 
everyone has actually commented, well, commended me on what I did. There hasn't been any real backlash other than the family, he said, referring to the family of the suspect. But everyone in the neighborhood has commended me on what I did. Well, you know, his family can go jump off a damn bridge some damn where. The Grand Canyon. He, they can go do that. And matter of fact, go eat raw cactus plants and drink, and then follow up with some damn alcohol. Go do that. Nobody care about it. Evidently, his family is, is just as reprobate as he is. They know what he was all about. Here's a bastard right here. He got just what, what he deserved. I commend the brother for what he did too. I tip my hat to him. Because <clears throat> like I said, all this bastard was going to do was take that girl somewhere, rape her, and then murder her. That's what he was going to do. Let's check this video out. I was like, what the? Get out of my, get out of my house. Only two weeks after moving in, a family goes through intense moments of terror. It's initial fear. It's, a, it's initial shock. It's initial trauma. After a 12-year-old girl says she found her next-door neighbor Sunday morning undressing in her bedroom, she immediately hid under covers, sending an alarming text to her mom. We instantly get up because I'm like, who could be in the house? <laughs> and so when, like, when we seen them, it just, I was just in shock. Her parents oh, would then soon come face to face with a half-naked man in their kitchen. He turned around and he growled at me. He, he growled like, Brr, he growled at me. And when, when he growled at me, uh, I don't know, I attacked him. I just grabbed the broom. I started whacking him with the broom. We're still tussling. I'm punching him, punching him, punching him. And it's like it's being effective. But the time while we're punching, I'm punching, we're fighting. I'm screaming, get something, grab something, get something, grab something. And next thing I know, he got shot. Several times. I'm Donald Oliver. In court Monday morning, bound to a wheelchair after being arrested, Donald Oliver Jr. faced a judge answering to multiple charges. If somebody comes in again, it's going to be the same thing. But the break-in isn't leaving the homeowners scared. Instead, they say the incident is more of a lesson learned for their neighbor. I think we have an understanding now that there's barriers. I mean, there's this is a free world. You can go anywhere you want to go, but you're not going to come over here. Now, the homeowners say their three daughters, who all were there during the incident, are shaken up, but are doing just fine. They also say they do not plan on moving. Reporting live downtown, I'm Trey Ward, WLKY News. Well, as y'all can see, the brother did what he was supposed to do. So did the sister that stuck together. They got rid of the evil fucking invader, you know, who felt emboldened enough to think he can just come up in somebody's home and do as he will with some with, 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 with whoever he want to do it with in the house. You know, they did the right thing. Beat his ass and shoot him. You know, send a message. Let him know. No, you're not going to do that here. See, I'm tired of these kind of fucking people, man. I am not lying. You know, I despise them with every fiber of my heart, my entire soul, my being. And I don't give a damn what color they are, you understand, to be honest with you, because I hate evil. I hate evil. And we know evil tw dwells, you know, in, in every race of people. But it just seems like to me it's a particular race that happens to do more of it. You know. But I can guarantee you this. This particular one. Won't be breaking in nobody else's house. Undressing. Half naked. And with heroin. He won't be doing that shit no more. Because see. This brother and this sister right here. They seem to him. Not being successful at carrying out what his little plans was. What he was going to do. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this situation. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And this is James, and I'm out. Peace.